Okay, welcome back again to my channel. I want to send a shout out to XX Shy Kitty XX. Uh, she requested me to make some macaroni and cheese, and I want to fill every request that I possibly can when I can do it. Okay, we are uh, having some bevy of cheese here, some apple macaroni, and some apple macaronis. We're gonna do one egg, and we're gonna do cup, two cups of milk. Okay, right now I just put like a little less than a half a stick of butter uh, inside the pot. It's melting now. You can put it inside them if you don't have to put it in the pot first. So you're gonna crack your egg here. Just get a little milk, just a little, little bit. We're gonna whisk that together like so. Some people put it inside the milk when it's uh when it's cooking but you know this is the easiest way you don't have to uh do too much to it let's get your waist in. oh yeah i got a little mess here okay so just beat it up like so okay this is the butter i was telling you it's a little butter just go ahead and add your milk inside and your egg mixture with your uh your milk just blend it up, just add it with that. You're going to stir it in like so. And mix more. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly, you're going to just add some cheese to that. cheese like half a bag of the cheese yeah so. let that melt very slowly and make sure you whisk at the bottom because it will burn milk seems to burn very easily and cheese too so you want to get all the corners and make sure you whisk in the center also Okay, right now I'm gonna put a pasta on. I'm gonna put just like a oh pinch of salt in there. That's it. Just a pinch of salt. And when it comes to a ball, I'm gonna add the macaroni to it. And it normally cook for like 12 minutes, but we wanna cook half of the minutes because remember we have to put it in the oven to cook the rest away. So we're gonna cook it, it's about six to seven minutes, and we're gonna strain it and take it out, and we're gonna make our macaroni and cheese. And we'll be back. Okay, if you have one of these strainers here, and when it's ready, you can easily, you know, so you won't burn yourself. But make sure when you put your macaronis in there, just make sure you give it just a little stir, okay? And after that, we're gonna let them cook for like six, seven minutes. We're gonna take them out, and we'll be back. Okay, it's been seven minutes, and this is how you want your macaronis to look. Right now, we're about to add them inside the pan and mix everything together. Let me show you this right here. Not sticking. This is what you want. You want. You don't want to boil it too much. You just want just the melted cheese. Okay, right now we're about to mix it up. See how easy that is when you just use one of these uh, strainers. All that goodness out there, y'all. Okay. Your cheese mixture with the egg and your butter. Remember, everything's inside the pot. So what you want to do is you want to stir it all around. You get your shredded cheese here. Oh no. you just start adding. This is very simple for any kid to do at home, even when the mother there have just a little supervision so they won't uh, burn themselves. Just make sure you use any mitten as possible. 
so you won't uh, burn yourself at all. Get your other bag. Normally, if I would do it, I use the block cheese. But just make sure that you get every corn, okay? Just make sure you put all that cheese. Just use the whole two packs of cheese. If you don't want that much cheese, just stop. If that's enough of you like right there, just stop. Just That's fine. Some people like it cheesy, some people don't like that much cheese. Okay, you're gonna get the rest of it and just, just spread the rest on top. Just put it on top. I say, make sure you get the corners. The one I put at first, just make sure you just stir it all inside. The rest of it, we're not gonna put this inside. We're just gonna keep this right on top here. Okay? Make sure, just put it, just, just keep it right on top. gonna put this in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes and we're right now gonna put it in the oven in 30 to 45 minutes we'll be back this is the completion of the macaroni and cheese okay this is the completion of the macaroni and cheese I'm gonna just get a little off for of y'all you see how cheesy it is it looks so good so that's the ending of it. Let it cook for like 30 minutes. That's fine. You don't have to cook it no longer. It's like a small macaroni. It's not like a really big dish for your family. It's like, you know, for kids or something like that, really quick and simple and easy. I would like to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.